This is the homework for 7, 72, 73, and 74 A and D. In problem 7, 72, you need to describe the associations in the two graphs. So remember there's positive association, negative association, and no association. In this first graph, you can see that there is a positive association as your time, as the time increases, so does the amount of mold on the cheese. So they're both increasing. Increasing The amount of cheese mold is increasing as the time is increasing. So it has a positive association. This is called an outlier, where you have a point in the data set that's much greater or less than the rest of the data points and you can see that um, that this one is not following that so you want to disregard outliers when you're thinking of positive negative or no association um, but um, the other thing that you want to look at is this one is not considered linear so we would say this is a non-linear positive association because even though it's, you can see that there's a positive trend, it's not linear. There's more of a curve to it. In graph two, you can see that it's more linear. As your income increases, your education increases as well. So the more education you have, the more likely you're gonna make more money. So they're both increasing. So you have positive and positive. And this one, you can see, is more linear. So you would say this is a positive association um, that's linear. So a linear positive association. In 773, Ella and her study team are arguing about the slope of the line in the graph at In 773, Ella and her study team are arguing about the slope of the line in the graph at right. They have come up with four different answers. Positive three-fourths, negative four-thirds, negative three-fourths, and positive four-thirds. So we need to find out which slope is correct. So just looking at the line, it's sloping towards the negative x's. So we know this is a negative slope. So we can eliminate positive 3 fourths and positive 4 thirds. Next, we're going to count from one lattice point to another. And if I count positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, and then now negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, so this is, remember, rise over run. So the slope is a negative 3 fourths. And if I would have um, calculated the slope from the bottom of the line, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, over positive 1, 2, 3, 4. So either way, you'd still get a negative 3 fourths. For problem 774, you need to solve the following equations. So for 74a, I have denominators in each term. And I don't want to deal with denominators, so I'm going to use the fraction buster method. So by using the fraction buster method, I can eliminate the denominators. And I'm going to do that by finding the least common multiple of 6 3 and 4. The least common multiple of 6, 3, and 4 is 12. Remember, multiples are 6, 12, 18, 24 for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and for 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, and so forth. But you want to find the least one that they have in common. And all three of these are um, can divide into 12. So I'm going to multiply each term by 12 to eliminate the denominator. 
So for the first term, 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. And it would look like this, 2x. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, I'm, sh I'm showing it here, 12 and 12 over 1 multiplied by 1, 6, and that's what I'm doing here. So now I can cross simplify. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 2 over 1 is 2. And I would do that to each term. But it's simpler for me just to do it this way. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. And since it's a negative 1 third, it'd be negative 4. And now we subtract 2 from 2x from both sides. Inverse property of addition is subtraction. Created a zero pair. 3x minus 2x is x. And now we, we want to isolate the variables. So inverse property of subtraction is addition. So we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Created a zero pair. X, I mean, 8 plus 4 is 12. So 12 equals x. x equals 12. In problem 774D, you first need to use distributive properties. So you need to distribute this 3 to both of these terms inside the parentheses. So 3 multiplied by 2x equals 6x. 2 multiplied by negative 7 is negative 21. And now on the right side, there was no d distributing to do, but you can see that you have like terms. So you need to combine the like terms. So 5x plus x equals 6x. Now we need to get the variables on one side of the equation. So inverse property of addition is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 6x from both sides. And as you can see, this is a zero pair, and this is a zero pair. So the x's are eliminated on both sides of the equation. So now we have negative 21 equals 17. Well, that's not a true statement. And if you get a not true statement, then there's no solution.